Ezekiel looked out, saw the devastation. He said, oh, Lord. He said, thou knowest. What I'm looking at, Lord, I'm looking at devastation. I'm looking at trouble as far as my eyes can see. I'm looking at bones all in the valley. Lord, I can't see anything but devastation. But, oh, Lord, you see further than I see. Oh, can I get a witness? That's what I love about God. God sees further than we see. Can I get a witness here? That's why you got to hold on to God. When your heart is broken, hold on to God. When you've got problems all around you, hold on to God. When the enemy's trying to blow your mind, hold on to God. When the devil's trying to kill you, hold on to God. When you feel as though there's no way out. Oh, can I get a witness here today? Oh, those bones were dead. Those bones were dry. Oh, but the Lord told Ezekiel. He said, Ezekiel, you see those bones? You see how dry they are? You see the devastation? Because of the children of Israel, the decisions that they made. He said, the things that they have done have caused them to be down in the valley. They're all dried up and they're brittle. He said, but I want you, son of man. I want you to prophesy to those dry bones and tell those dry bones that I'm going to breathe on you. Oh, can I get a witness here today? And I'm going to cause life to enter to you. That's what I love about my God. Oh, how many of you have been down in the dumps? How many of you have been discouraged? How many of you felt like you couldn't make it another day? How many of you felt like your life was over? Oh, but one day the Lord saw you in your wretched condition and the Lord breathed on you. Oh, can I get a witness? I said when the Lord breathes on you, God breathes on you with the breath of God. That's what I love about God. You got to be in the place where God can breathe on you. Your heart may be broken, but be in the place where God can breathe on you. And if you can just get the breath of God, God can breathe life into a dead situation. Oh, can I get a witness here today? I say God can put a smile on your face. God can put praises on your lips. God can put joy down in your dance. Oh, can I get a witness here today? Oh, come on and give God some praise. Come on and give God some glory. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, the Lord told Ezekiel. <laughs> he said, I want you to prophesy, Ezekiel. I want you to preach. <laughs> I want you to preach to those dry bones. <laughs> and the Bible says Ezekiel began to prophesy. <laughs> and as he began to prophesy, <laughs> nothing happened at first. But then all of a sudden, <laughs> as he continued to prophesy, <laughs> God began to move. <laughs> That's what I love about God, children. <laughs> that if you stay with God in your dry condition... <laughs> If you stay with God in your wretchedness, if you stay with God, God will breathe on you with the breath of God. I come to tell you, God knows how to raise the dead. God knows how to lift you up. God knows how to inspire you. God knows how to put something down in you to let you know that you can make it another day. And the Bible says that as he prophesied, hallelujah, all of a sudden the bones begin to come together. I said bone to bone. I come to tell you children of God if anything can straighten you out it's the Lord that can straighten you out I tell you don't give up hope you keep on believing in the Lord even in the midst of your hard time believe in God problems all around you believe in God you keep staying before the Lord and let the Lord bless you oh can I get a witness Ezekiel begin to prophesy all of a sudden the breath of God begin to go out and some Something begin to happen to those dry bones. Those dry bones begin to move. That's what I love about God. Sometimes when your strength get low, you feel like you can't make it another day. But when you stay before the Lord, somehow God knows how to energize you. God knows how to lift your spirit where you felt like you couldn't make it. God said, let me breathe on you. Let me anoint you with the breath of God. And before you know it, God will go to move. 
something oh can I get a witness how many of you have been so troubled you've been so disturbed you've been so down in the dumps you didn't think you can make it another day but you went to the house of God God spoke a word to your condition lifted you right up out of your poverty right up out of your dead state God began to put a praise on your lips now you can lift up your hands and give God the glory and say Lord I thank you I can make it another day now because you breathe on me I thought I was dead but now I've got life in me oh can I get a witness you can tell the Lord Lord I thank you for sending me a revival Lord I thank you for making a way from me Lord I thank you for rising these old dry bones up Lord I thank you for being a good God Lord I thank you for making a way out of no way oh come on and give God the Come on and give God the glory. Oh, yes. Oh, I come to tell you, children of God, God provides hope. Ezekiel began to prophesy. And as he began to prophesy, those bones begin to come together bone to bone. Can't nobody strengthen you like the Lord. Can't nobody lift you like the Lord. Can't nobody give you a mind to run on like the Lord. That's why I want to encourage somebody that when you're down and out you continue to lift your eyes to the Lord stop running around the neighborhood stop running around the folks and trying to get them to lift your burdens flesh is nothing but flesh there's only so much that flesh can do and then flesh will tell you honey I can't help you I've got too many problems to deal with myself oh but I heard the Lord say come he said come unto me all ye that labor now heavy labor God said I'll give you rest he said take my yoke upon you and learn of me he said for I'm meek and lowly and harm you shall find rest unto your soul oh can I get a witness Ezekiel prophesied the word of God went to moving hallelujah the Bible says that as he prophesied breath began to enter into those dry bones those bones begin to come together and Ezekiel looked out before he knew it there was a mighty army standing up can I get a witness here today God said prophesy until the winds and he prophesied and the Bible said